Hi everyone, welcome back to Kathy's Vegan Kitchen. Today we're going to make a Hungarian mushroom soup. When we used to live in Michigan, there was a cute little restaurant in Royal Oak called the In Season. And regardless of when I went there, and no matter what I ate off the menu, and everything was wonderful, I always got this mushroom soup because it's so wonderful. So unfortunately, the In Season never reopened after COVID. They tried a to-go place on Woodward Avenue for a while, and that closed too, which is a shame. But I'm going to bring that mushroom soup to you. And mine is oil-free with a little twist because it, the original recipe has a lot of oil in it. So what we're going to do is you need a soup pot that will, um, that's as big, a big one, like about 40 ounces can fit in it. And what we're going to do is we have three cloves of garlic here, and we're going to put those in the pot first. And then I have two cups of white onions and or yellow onion, and if you can see, I used my veggie chopper, and I chopped all of these vegetables using the veggie chopper, and it cut my prep time in half. And we're gonna put that in there. And then I have a, cu a half a cup of celery chopped up. And Carrots, a half a cup of carrots, chopped up. And although this is a mushroom soup, it has lots of veggies. I have a half a cup of yellow zucchini and a half a cup of green zucchini that I'm putting in. Um, the store did not have the yellow, so I have two half cups of the green today, but it usually calls for one half cup of the yellow. And then a half a cup of diced potatoes. And if you can see, I use the tiny... Um, the tiny chopper. So you want to put that in there too. And we're going to stir it around a little bit. And let all that cook a little bit. And then I'm putting in one pound of sliced mushrooms. You can use any mushrooms you want. Um, you can use white mushrooms, portobello mushrooms, doesn't make, doesn't make a difference which ones you use. And I'm going to add a tiny bit of vegetable broth because I'm using the Dutch oven and sometimes it sticks to the bottom. This takes a total of six um, cups of vegetable broth. So that's all it takes. So we'll measure the rest out, but one of these has four cups in it. So we're going to let this cook about seven minutes so it gets all softened and the mushrooms get cooked before we add the other ingredients. Okay, in seven minutes, you can see it's cooked down, but you can also see a lot of the um, vegetables, they're, they're um, cooked down. So you can see that there's a lot of um, broth in the bottom. I didn't add anything but a tiny little bit that's from the actual water from the vegetables. Now I'm gonna put a quarter cup of flour and I picked chickpea flour you can use any powder you want and you're going to sprinkle it over these vegetables and then what you're going to do is you're going to mix it in you do not want any clumps or or um, flour showing and this is making a roux which is a thickener for your soup so we want to make sure all of it goes away and is mixed in with the soup and as you can see or the the vegetables it's starting to thicken okay now what we're going to do is we're going to add four cups of vegetable broth and the rest of the ingredients now i have a half a cup of fresh dill that's the correct amount it's a lot a half a cup hungarian mushroom stew is very dill forward in terms of taste, as well as paprika. This is Hungarian paprika. It's sweet paprika. It's a quarter cup plus one tablespoon, and that is a correct amount as well. You can use smoked paprika if you, if you would prefer to have a smokier version. I also have a quarter cup of soy sauce. You could use tamari or liquid aminos. And I have a teaspoon of nutmeg, a teaspoon of pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. And while we bring this one to a boil, I am going to make the cashew cream that goes into the soup. So we're gonna take 
a quarter cup of cashews. I have some lemon zest here from one lemon. And two cups of plant milk. You can use, you need unsweetened, unflavored milk. You do not want to have like vanilla flavored or anything like that. You want it unsweetened, unflavored. And we're going to spin this all about. Okay, and you can see what that looks like. It just looks like milk. It's just a little thicker. And we're going to wait for this to boil. And we're going to add two more cups, total is six cups, two more cups of vegetable broth. Stir this in. Look at that rich, dark color from the paprika. It's so yummy. And then we're going to pour in the cashew cream. And then we're going to bring it to a boil. And then we're going to simmer it until it thickens. As you can see, the soup has thickened. It has a wonderful, rich color. We're going to put it into a bowl. Your little spot. I always have one little spot. And then I'm going to add some more dill on top as a garnish and some microgreens because they're pretty. And here you go, Hungarian mushroom soup. I hope you enjoy the recipe today and we'll see you next time.